Let's talk about being in charge. I am in charge of this car. I control whether I go straight, whether I turn right, whether I turn left. I'm not in charge of all these other drivers. You turn, turn here. Turn right here. Hey, you, stop. You, turn here. It's like they're not even listening to me. I can't control what they do, but I'm in charge of this car. When I go to the drive-thru at McDonald's, I am in charge of what I order. I'm out here. Could I get a quarter pounder with cheese combo with a large Diet Coke? Okay. Am I allowed to order food for the car behind me? Like, I don't know them or anything. Well, I don't want to pay for it though. <laughs> okay. So can I do that or no? Why would, why would you do that? How do you know what they want? Oh, I don't. Not allowed. I'm not in charge of the drive through policy at McDonald's. Remember how I'm in charge of my car? The cheapest gas here is almost $2.78 a gallon, but I can get water right out of the hose at my house. So I want my car to run on water. Well, why doesn't that work? Well, I didn't design this car. I don't get to say what it runs on. The engineers who designed it, they call the shots on what goes in the fuel tank. Doesn't matter if I want to put water or olive oil or chocolate syrup in it, it says to not put anything in it except unleaded gas. And they're the ones in charge of how this car works. But check this out. One day Jesus' disciples got a lesson of what Jesus was in charge of. They knew that Jesus was important. They knew that he was their Lord and their leader. But check out Matthew chapter 8 to see how much more Jesus was in charge than they even imagined. You'll hear about it in our Bible reading and in our message today. You can also read about it in our Jesus Storybook Bible this week. The chapter is called Captain of the Storm. And I'll give you a hint. It had to do with a big storm. So read that in the Bible or in your Jesus Storybook Bible, and you'll see how much Jesus was in charge. I'll bet Jesus could even have ordered food for that person behind him in McDonald's. He probably would have offered to pay for it, though.